I'm Aditya Sahu and in this video I'll talk about VMware Tools Guest Store, a new feature that is part of the vSphere 7 Update 2 release. VMware Tools Guest Store enables our customers to distribute various content types to the VMs at scale, pretty much like an internal CDN system. Having content in a shared data store gives centralized management capability. VI admins can now create a VM level rule set to regulate and monitor content distribution. It is important to note that the VMware Tools Guest Store framework does not push the content to the VMs. Guest Store clients or VMs have to pull the content as needed. A shared data store is used as content repository, where VI admins can drop in content like VMware tools, various agents, binaries, and custom config files. Any type of shared data store can be used as a content repository. Let us now quickly look at the VMware Tools guest store workflow. Firstly, we create a folder in the shared data store and populate it with the desired content. Secondly, we mount this folder using an ESX CLI command. We have introduced a new option guest store which we use to set the folder's absolute path using ESX CLI command. After setting the folder's absolute path, we can pull the VM's content by navigating to the VMware tools directory inside the Windows VM. Let us now configure the guest store for one of the Windows VM. Over here, I am connected to one of the ESXi host via secured shell. As we can see, I have a folder created in a shared data store. I have also copied a config file inside the folder that I will pull from the VM. All right, let us now mount the folder and validate that it is successfully mounted. And here we see that the folder is successfully mounted. Let us now log into the Windows VM and pull the content. We will first navigate to the VMware Tools directory and run the newly introduced guest store content command to pull the content and download it to the desired folder. Let's quickly verify whether the content is downloaded or not. And here we go, the config file is successfully downloaded to our desired folder. 